keep an eye on this guy for me while I'm gone. I don't need a babysitter. Welcome to It's All Grady. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. Hey guys, welcome to our homestead. Yeah, welcome to our homestead. If you guys don't already know, we're a small family that moved from the big city, Denver, Colorado, out here to rural America to start our homestead. And part of building our homestead is building our home. Exactly. And we're learning how to do that, guys. Mm -hmm. One step at a time. One step at a time. One step, And maybe we don't even finish the whole step. Sometimes we skip the rest of it and move on to the next step. <laughs> That's what we do sometimes. Yeah, we do tend to switch gears depending on weather and other things that we got going on around here. But today we are kind of staying on track with what we've been doing here on the homestead. All right, guys. So previously, uh, we dug the trench. We measured the wire out, got it lined up, drilled the hole in the wall. Yeah, you guys see me, I used that tool like a professional. It was a hole saw and a hammer, because I lost the chuck. But anyways, we got it cut, guys. We got the conduit slid on to the wire. And we found out that we were just doing it the hard way, guys. We were doing it the hard way, and once we figured out that there was an easier way, it was easier. After all of the hard fussing and mussing with that conduit, they were able to get it on. Um, and so the next time we have to do it, hopefully it won't be as difficult. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to do it again right away. <laughs> trying to come in the house with the same gear. Mm -hmm. so. so today we are staying with the theme of things. Since we got the conduit um, on for the electrical wire, mm -hmm. we gotta move on to the next step. Yeah. What does that look like, babe? Well, we need to prep that wall because we don't wanna have to remove anything later. And if you guys don't already know, I skip part of a lot of steps. We like, we'll start it, but then we run into something and it changes it because that's just what it is. And then we're like, we'll come back to it later. We'll, we'll come back to it later and I'm, I'm, I'm on one of those missions today. I have to come back to it later as now. We have to because I need to, I need to prep that wall. Yep. There's no way around it. Well, all right guys, let's jump right into the work since we have a lot of things lined up today. It is a big day and we want to enjoy some of the eclipse with you. So let's get some work done. Yeah, let's, it's time to get after it guys, come on. Whatever, I'll just freehand it, baby cakes. I just wasted $25. Oh my gosh, today is clips, and Marcel decides today's the day to pick painting back up, you guys. Well, it just makes sense to me since it's the next thing. We've got the <laughs> power in the house, baby. Except for there's no power. We got the power <laughs> wire in the house. So the next step to me is going to be get this back wall painted so that I can attach a panel to it. Can't paint everything, guys. Still not the perfect of conditions right now, but these are these are actually good enough. So, but we're not prepared to paint the whole area. I have decided to paint from the corner over as far as I can and try to make it look somewhat presentable. Mm. Even, <laughs> even when you know there's no power, it's still scary when it touches you in the head. <laughs> so I'm just gonna paint a coat and I'm gonna bounce outside and paint a coat where the pipe is gonna be because it's just gonna be a lot harder to paint it later. Yeah, so we'll have three coats out there and then I'll do two coats in here. I'll do one coat, we'll let it dry a little while and I'll do another coat and then we can attach a panel. Yay! And once the panel's attached and we got some wires ran, we can make that transition. 
You know what I mean? All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So Marcel's going to get to work on this wall. Yeah, and I already I'm have. Not... Check it out. Yeah. I'll put tape on the floor. I'm going to cut this paint back quite a ways onto the floor. We'll roll it out onto the floor. That'll help make it a full seal, yeah? And then I'm just going to cut down this wall. I already had tape up there, guys. I put it in the wrong spot. I'm going to freehand this. We all know that, that a good painter can freehand it. So we all about to find out that I am definitely not a freehander. I'm a roller. Yeah? A roly-poly. Ready for this, baby? Mm-hmm. This ain't gonna be easy. You got this. I do, it's just up and down the ladder. Cause this first coat is always... Yeah, look at that. BAM! That's like a Bob Ross right there. A happy little corner. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, Marcel paints his happy little corner and wall. I am going to go get set up for the eclipse and try to get some footage for this absolutely unique event that we're going to be experiencing. So he's going to be painting and I'll be setting up and we'll get back to you in a few. Guys, keep an eye on this guy for me while I'm gone. I don't need a babysitter. I'm blinded. That white wall is so, so bright. You know what I mean? With the sunshine on it, it was like a, it was like being on a perfectly covered snowy field and the sun shining. There was a spider on my legs. Bring back good memories though? Yeah, being blind, great memory. <laughs> and look how bright white that tree is. The painting, babe. The oh, yeah, painting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm hoping that I could get this other coat on. I, I don't want to rush it. What? Here we are again, guys. And this time, I am proud to bring to you something that is a big part of Baby Cakes and I's life. And that is water filtration. And before I talk about this super awesome piece of equipment from Membrane Solutions, I want to share a testimonial with you. Before Baby Cakes and I moved out here from the city, we had already owned a gravity water filter system because we hated the taste of water. We like our water to taste the way it's supposed to, like nothing, just wet. You know what I mean? That's what water's supposed to taste like. The only time we could ever find that is to buy bottles. And then we had endless bottles. So we found a solution and thankfully we did because the city that we lived in did a bunch of work. And when they did that work, they disturbed water lines that in turn contaminated the city's water with lead. We weren't notified until after they realized it with the notification that we received said we will be sending you a filter. Please don't drink our water. Guys, by then we would have already been contaminated. So thankfully, we were already on board with this water filtration revolution, baby. And we're happy to bring this one to you as well. Without further ado, I'm going to share with you Membrane Water Solutions Gravity Water Filter with the UV. 
All right, guys, so this water filtration is a 2.25 gallon stainless steel double chamber water filtration system. So the, this water filtration system is very simple design. It has three charcoal filters, activated filters, that go into the top section up here, guys. You prime these things, you fill the top up, it drains through into the bottom chamber, guys, which is also stainless steel, obviously. Drips into the bottom chamber, guys, and that's as far as our other water filtration system went. This one, however, has something special, guys. Something new, something that we're not accustomed to, but we're very grateful that we have it today. And that's this UV, this UV light that does disinfecting kills viruses, DNAs, things like that. Stuff that we didn't really think about. Like, cause there's a, a routine with a filtration system like this. And it's important to follow that routine because I'm gonna share with you something else that's just gonna blow your mind because water's too expensive at the grocery store, right? So when we maintain these things monthly, we maintain our water filtration system. Guys, you're gonna get nine thousand gallons of filtration out of one of these filter setups that is three filters but it's nine thousand gallons of water guys they estimate that to be like three years i'm going to tell you right now we go to the grocery store routinely and buy bottled water we already have one of these it's a it's pretty close to this design this is something a little more special and if we would have known then what we know now we would probably have this thing you know what I'm saying? Because not only does it filter with these three carbon filters, it also disinfects, guys, with UV line. You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Here we go. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not. Bam, guys, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the UV light turns on. It shows us that it is disinfecting our water right now. I can't tell you how good that makes me feel knowing that not only is it being filtered through these carbon filters, but then it's also being sterilized because who knows what happens in here. If you, if you miss something or just get a little bit of something in there, guys, this is going to clean that last little bit out. It is a three stage filtration system, which is super awesome, guys. This is what we're looking for. I'm gonna tell you why this is so important. I could tell you about all the 0.1 micron filtration and all the different yucky stuff that it pulls out, but I'm not very versed in that and I don't think everybody should have to be. What I'm gonna tell you though, is from a user standpoint and somebody who's used it for a very long time, these are amazing. Why is this one so amazing? You do not need a plumber. You put this together yourself, guys, it's very simple. These filters are very simple. You prime them up. They send you out a little tool that hooks, you push that up against your spigot. Guys, you filter it into there. It's called priming those filters. You put it on, you run a few gallons through this baby to clean it out and bam. So this system comes out with three power sources, different ways to power up the UV, guys. So it comes out with your wall mount, right? They do offer additionally, it does not come with it, but it is a, a power pack, like one that you would use for anything else as well, except for it's wired for this system. They sent us out as a free gift, the batteries. Bam! I'm talking about camping, road trips, picnics, whatever, emergencies, guys. This is when this thing is going to shine. First of all, you don't have to buy any more water from the grocery store and have all that plastic bottle waste always that everybody is so concerned about. And so are we, because where's all that plastic going? When it does break down, we probably ingesting it unless you're running it through your water filter. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, so one more thing that we need to touch on here is their filters, guys, are tested third party and they are validated up to 99.99% .99 of all contaminants, okay? That's pretty safe, right? They do this without removing the TDS values, guys. You wanna know what a TDS value is? So did I. Guys, that's the minerals in the water, the minerals that are so important. Sometimes you filter too much out and it could be harmful for you. You have to add stuff back into it. We want those good minerals. What we don't want is the lead and the rust and the sediments and the bacterias and all the stuff that is harmful to us, guys. We want that stuff out 
and we want to leave the good stuff and that is what membrane solutions is bringing to us today and if it misses something it catches it with the uv light we know what that does guys that disinfects it viruses things like that the things that we can get concerned about you might not think much of it but even just touching around the areas like this can cause contamination so they've really gone above and beyond to make sure that their water is safe for us to drink and that's important guys and you can use this drinking water coffee your cooking we use it for everything just about guys we are in the rv we have used ours camping on extended camping trips it's awesome man because you can filter pond water well water city water ditch water now the more dirty that water is guys the harder the filter will have to work and you will have to maintain it more frequently and it will obviously use its life up faster but you can clean some pretty gross stuff and drink it that blows my mind because this is just a countertop guys it's just a countertop we're not even putting much investment into this now membrane solutions guys they offer up all styles of water filtration and if their other equipment is as awesome as this one here i know where i'm going so if you guys are interested in anything like this which I really think this fits everybody's life, guys. Don't get caught drinking that gross water. What happens, you get sick. And then they tell you how you got sick. Man, I'm not gonna name any cities, but there's places that have been devastated by contaminated water. Take control of some of the things that we can. This is one clean, fresh drinking water. We can take control of that with some proactive steps. Like we really, really on fire for these water systems, guys, for real. They will save you in a pinch. Make sure you guys are checking out all the information in the description below, guys. Make sure you're checking that stuff out. Go over to Membrane Solutions, check out what they got going on because they are screaming, come check us out. And we're gonna scream with them because we believe in this stuff wholeheartedly. Bam, good job, Membrane Solutions. I love my UV light, guys. I just feel like it's extra clean. <laughs> I can't see crap. I know. But I look cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. The eclipse is starting, you guys. We are out here um, trying to get some footage of it and witness it at the same time. And do everything so, else at the same time. We got a regular, yeah, and do everything we're, else. We're, we're working and... Yeah, producing, yeah. producing a video, mm -hmm. painting a wall. Total eclipse. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I can't see nothing, guys. I should just take them off. Mm -hmm. But now I don't look as cool. But I can see you. Yeah. So we are out here getting ready to witness this crazy event that I I can't remember the last time I actually seen a total eclipse and been in the path of it. I think I was real young. I don't know if I've ever seen that. And it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. We're not about to witness this. Mm -hmm. It's happening. We're right there. Right here, right now. Yeah. Pretty soon we'll be able to take the glasses off. Mm -hmm. But I'm putting them back on right now. Mm -hmm. We'll holler at you later. Okay. All right, so here we are. It is getting really close to the total eclipse. We're out here enjoying enjoying the afternoon. Yeah, okay. we're having eclipse burgers. Eclipse burgers. Yeah. It's getting pretty dark out. It is. The temperature's going down too, guys. Really weird. It's really, really, really weird. If you're not experiencing this right now, it's like, feels like the evening. Still can't look at it though. When I looked up there, guys, I burnt a hole in the back of my head. It still looked like a big sun. But when you put these things on, but dang. Oh yeah. Hopefully we're getting good footage. Could be a spy room. I mean, it's not moving. It's acting like a drone. That is crazy. Huh. Is this a North Star? Are we seeing stars coming out now? Because... I don't think so. You might be able to. If the, if the star is big enough, we might actually be able to see stars because it's going to be like nighttime.
I don't know if there's a camera that'll ever do this justice. Probably not. How freaking creepy is that? I have never experienced this ever in my life. Me neither. Here we are. Wow, it is so dark out, you guys. And we don't have to wear the glasses. You can totally see the sun just beaming around the moon. And this it looks like a, like a portal. And there's something up there that's shining. Groovy baby, groovy. Are you sure this is more like welding? All right, you guys, so while Marcel is finishing up the wall, let's go take a look at the baby chicks and see how they're doing. Um, we have recently moved them out of the house. Uh, normally, we keep them in the house with us a little bit longer, but since we moved the coop up here, we had it available. So um, I'm making regular checks on the chicks just to make sure that they're doing okay and that they have what they need. Um, the temperature is not too hot or too cold, so let's go look at them. We got it done. Well, we got what we needed to get done to be able to, to like continue. Cause this stuff is a process and you have no choice. You can only slam and jam it so much. Right. When you cross that line, guys, you pay the price. And I'm, I'm already paying prices right now that I don't even want to talk about right now, but we will. But I'm paying prices for pushing the envelope and I'm not gonna do it, continue to do it. Cause this is our house. And I don't want to to rush it. I know we slow as molasses, but that's because we learn it at the same time of not pushing it. Well, a blessing of being a little bit slower is that we are able to take a step back and get a little bit more feedback on what we're doing and maybe make a better decision on whatever project we're on. Yeah. So like I always say, you guys, we are so grateful for all of you guys giving us feedback and putting comments in the comment section Yeah. because it helps us along on our journey. Some things we know, some things we don't. And um, it doesn't even matter. It, it like challenges us right. to explore other options mm -hmm. because you don't know until you know. Right. Right? And there's a lot of things we don't know. The only thing we know is we don't know a lot of things. 
Yeah, and we know a lot of things too, guys. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and everybody has a different perspective, so sometimes yep. it helps us just open up our mind to see something differently. Exactly. So thanks, guys. Yeah. How about that clips? Oh man, that was crazy. Man. Oh wow, you guys. How about those glasses? I look so cool, guys. I know that everybody was like, "Dang, mm -hmm. I wish I could rock those glasses like that." Yeah, babe, you really did look really cool in those glasses. I did. I couldn't see myself, though. <laughs> they were pretty dark. Yeah. But I'm glad we had extra pairs because we were able to use them on the cameras. So we took a couple of different angles. Hopefully, we got some good footage for you guys. Yeah. And if not, we can definitely... You're going to understand the experience that we had because we tried to explain it. Right? It was so... I don't know. I want to. I don't want to say creepy all the time, cause, but it kind of was, right? It got cool and dark. It was like nighttime, but like that. It was like what you see, like a time lapse of day and night. It was so amazing. Explain it. Like it was a different experience. So we we're happy that we we're able to share our experience with you guys. Yeah. Um, and we and got to experience it together. Yeah. And we're looking forward to sharing whatever footage we have with you guys. Yeah. It's going to be awesome no matter what. And it's, I'm certain it's not going to be done with justice because we just currently don't own that kind of gear right. that can grab those. But they're there. But you'll know what we experienced because we're sharing it. Yeah. Yeah. What a good time. It was. It was a very good day. And those burgers were good, babe. They were. Mm -hmm. I was blinded. <laughs> That's why I didn't know they were burnt. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was good. It was good. We had a good day, and we hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Um, we always enjoy bringing you our, our content, which is basically our daily life. So if you guys enjoy our content, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Bam! You know what I like to say, guys, or a regular one. So. <laughs> it's okay. Be sure to ring that notification bell, guys. Heck yeah. When you guys do that, they're going to notify you guys, like, uh, almost immediately. Sometimes it takes a second. But they're going to say, hey, it's all Grady's on. Check them out. Be sure to share our videos. Yeah, once again, we can't even thank you enough. We'll give you a big hug if we could, because every time you do that, it helps our reach. It says so in the analytics. It says people are digging you, and it's helping to extend your reach. So that's you guys hooking us up. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Right now is a perfect time, guys. We all survived. Nobody that I know of disappeared. You know what I mean? The eclipse is over, <laughs> and we made it. We made it. We made it. All right. <laughs> we made it. Here we are. Mm. So we should all be subscribed then, you know what I mean? Because mm. we made it together as a team of a, the world. Yeah. There it is. We love to have you as part of our team. Yes. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace. Bye. I painted during the eclipse. <laughs> It was a total eclipse. Of my heart. All right, guys. <laughs>